Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Red Ultra Instinct Goku, the headlining character of the fourth anniversary. Uh, we're also now in the week leading up to Legends Fest 2024, so what I'm going to be doing is every single video, essentially between now and the end of the week when Legends Fest begins on Friday, uh, is going to be dedicated to sort of counting down to Legends Fest. So we'll do videos on the countdown banner images, uh, image characters. We'll do videos talking about who I think could get ultras. I think this guy, the reason why I'm doing a video on UI Goku is I think this is a very high likely candidate to get an ultra at the end of the festival. Um, there's other characters that I think are in there as well. Who's going to get a Zenkai Awakening. So we'll be doing a ton of showcases on characters I think we could see that have at least some relation to Legends Fest 2024. So we are officially in Legends Fest season, and we're going to kick things off with a showcase on Red UI Goku. Now, this guy is two and a half years old now. Uh, he's definitely in range for a Zenkai at some point. I you know, don't think he's probably going to get one in Legends Fest, because if they're going to give him an Ultra, then there's no need for them to do this as a Zenkai right now. Uh, in the off chance that they don't give this guy an Ultra in this Legends Fest, I think then we could very well see him potentially get a Zenkai Awakening, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, this guy, I think, is actually going to be okay, even though he's really old at this point. And the reason why is because the dodging gauge is very, very strong. That's a mechanic that's really just never going to age. The ability to get a free tool to stall the game is really, really strong still. We're going to be running him today on just a Saiyan team. We're going to be using Majin Vegeta and then, of course, Goku and Bardock with their new equipment is very, very good, too. Um... But yeah, this is kind of a little bit reminiscent of the ultra yellow UI Goku and Goku and Bardock team where you can use Goku and Bardock to sort of stall, do long combos, and then UI Goku can come in and stall with the gauge. We'll see. Uh, the one thing that I will say about this UI Goku is he doesn't really have a great array of Zenkai buffers. Kakarot Goku, of course, serves as a pretty good way to Zenkai buff this guy. Remember, Kakarot Goku's Zenkai buff is only about half as good as a normal Zenkai buff. So, um, you know, we, we aren't able to really give him the power that we would like. Um, typically, when you have like red Zenk, uh, red Saiyan Zenkai buffers, they're not really that good with the rest of the team, right? Like red Super Saiyan 3 Goku buffs red with his Z ability. So it's tough to run him. You have like the day one Super Saiyan Goku only buffs one stat with his Z ability. So we don't really have a, a, a premium Zenkai buffer for this guy, I would say right now. Uh, Fusion Zamasu is a decent one, but I mean, he's the best one you could run with, with this Goku as a Zenkai buffer, but it's god key is not in a great spot here <laughs> god key is not in a fantastic spot right now but this is going to be the best setup i think for ui goku right now at least i was i was trying to make a team to give him a little bit more power but this is what we're looking at here uh equipment obviously we're going to run the goku and bardock equip really really good still pure pure offenses some special move damage defenses this is really good of course like percent pure offenses per se in battle member we got some defenses special move damage and then because we only have like half a zenka buffer and we're going to also run the legends ranking strike equip for the base strike that i think he needs here so we'll jump in with this and let's see how well red ui goku does here Okay, let's see what we got here. Up again, still full hand of blast right away. Also, we just don't get to play the game off the bat. <laughs> that's that's like, it's great. Uh, we'll go to Majin Vegeta, I guess. I love zoning in into unplayable hand right away. All right, let's just get our gauge filled up. Really, I'm, I'm surprised he could do this. Just immediately get him to half HP. He doesn't die this, does he? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Great idea, man. Well, that's one way to get rid of our blast hand. Alright, I don't mind getting the half health here. Well, that was certainly an interesting first match. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We can actually get something going here in the second one. Okay, better hand for sure. I'm gonna drop. You know, that's actually not horrible damage. Definitely could be a lot worse. Alright, how much does this do? That's actually... Okay, it's not, it's not bad. Let's wait for him to jump, then go for a blue. I can just go for it here. I did not hit him with that, but this is going to hit him. Yeah, that's not bad. 
right away. Damn. Okay, let's go back to you. Yeah, typically with uh, UI Goku, what you want to do is if you have a blue card, waiting for your opponent to jump and then going for your blue so that you know that you're not going to get PV'd is the way to go. Because if you don't get PV with the blue card, you can kind of just sit there if they vanish it. And then if they attack, you just counter. It's actually insane. <laughs> like, that is a really strong thing this Goku's able to do. All right, let's just uh, use it. Oh, he switched. Okay. I was, I was going to say let's just use his gauge, but... Interesting. All right, UI. No key. I okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Wait, what? That hit me. Oh, my thing like just expired. All right. Asha Vegeta doesn't matter here. Honest fine too. Uh, I'll just go to Vegeta. Okay, I'll just do that. Just get the rush. All right, now we'll go to Vegeta. Please, please switch to Vegeta. I'm begging you, thanks. Sure. Uh, we never just used a green. He used a blue recently. I'm gonna go strike. Looks like we might have guessed him. Nice. That was fairly obvious. Thank you, buddy. All right, we won into, we ran into the one person in the universe running <laughs> spear block. Okay. All right, cool. Go ahead, attack. Go ahead. All right, I'll go for a quick attack here. It's actually decent damage. Wait, what? Okay. Good luck. Okay. Let's go to Bardock. Hi, Goku. Let's go to UI. Interesting play. Um, is there any any way he actually goes to UI here? What's this guy doing? Pretty sure we just kill, right? Even if he switches, UI's dead. I would imagine he's dead here, right? <laughs> Alright, yeah. 3.8 is not bad. Okay. Uh, Turles obviously is going to be the biggest issue for UI, so. Red Broly. Huh. Okay. I mean, there's no reason for us to really do it. We can get our Vanish back, I think, in time. Yeah. Alright, one more Dragon Ball. There's no way he switches here, right? Uh. Okay. Does that seem smart? That's, uh, that's the main ability of all time. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what this guy's doing. I will just mention, again, I have no control over who I ma get matched up against. Okay. 
All right, we'll uh, tag into Bard. Uh, do we even need to tag into Bardock? We can just wait. I oh, will do it, and then we'll switch. Use the gauge to deter the Turles come back here. Yep, that's okay. Nice. Just stack as much damage as we can. I don't think our rush would kill from UI, but we could test it. We could test it. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think he's dead, actually. We have the blue card in here, too. That's actually not bad. Okay, of course he gets this. This is like the perfect example of a, a player who would guess me on a rush. There's no reason to go back to Goku here. Is he leaving? He rage quit against fourth anniversary UI. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, this is kind of the team I was actually hoping we'd run into. Double yellow can be pretty good for UI. This is the most common team to run into for sure right now. Why is he not going to a tree of might? He goes to Vegeta. Okay. I'll go to Vegeta as well. It's going to be hard to take advantage of. Um, UI Goku's cover changes just because every attack ever performed by this entire team is cover null 100% of the time. <laughs> All right, let's go to UI here. Oh, we hit him. Should I immediately just go again? Oh, we got, we got him! Nice, dude! Okay, all right. Uh, that was good to see. Like Vegeta here. I think we're probably good now. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, this again, like I mentioned, this is the team I wanted to run into, but I didn't think UI would just like shut him down like that. Okay, okay. Okay. This looks like a pretty Pretty good team here. Oh, wait, he's there, right? I thought I saw him moving for a second. Yeah, he's there. Okay. Alright. We'll just... This will just be Cam with Goku and Bardock for the time being. That's fine. Alright, we'll go back to Goku here. Oh, okay. Guy had a really good team. What the hell? I'm using UI from 4th Anniversary. I hope that this guy actually, you know, stays in the fight here. That would be nice. Against my 4th Anniversary character from two and a half years ago. Hybrids? Full hybrids, huh? Okay, something a little bit different. I actually don't think hybrids is like a team you never see. You kind of just, I, at least I do, I see them on occasion. But it's not like a mega super common team. A little laggy, so I can't really, yeah, can't really do what I want here. Top. Can't really continue this. All right, well now we can go a little bit here. I mean, if he has a blue, whatever, I guess. That sucks. 
Ow. Alright, we'll grab cover and all here. I'm gonna use the green just to get the tag switch gauge filled up. And we'll go back to Goku. This might be a team where we want to use, um... No good you out here, we'll want to use the rush as soon as we get it. Alright, not the greatest damage ever. That's fine. That's actually not bad damage. The counters... Oh, we win this automatically. I'm glad we got this in here, actually. <laughs> Automatic win on this. Actually, hold on. Yeah, but there's no, there's no way we'd kill on um, ultimate there. Like this is, we wouldn't do two point one to ultimate Gohan here. So, All right, we can counter again. Want to make sure we're using the gauge. That's a lot of damage, man. Right away with the strike. Okay, let's go to Majin Vegeta. Uh, ultimate Gohan probably won't get his first life taken away here because he does go type neutral. Ah, he's doing a lot of damage. I think actually, yeah. Okay, he's just not strong enough, and he's dead. Interesting. All right, maybe we can try and get the LF here. It's been a while since I've seen red UI Goku's LF. Just mid-range strike and I can just a green you. All right, that works. All right, don't forfeit. Wait, what? When did we get rid of... Oh, no, I had Endurance Nelson active. Damn, I forgot. All right, another hybrid team. Is that what this is? Ultra Gohan. Uh, yeah, another hybrid team. Okay. Green Strike. 883. Okay, we're looking pretty good here already. Okay. Interesting. Mid range strike against UI. Cool. Let's just get covered all here. And we'll go to Goku. I should probably just go to Vegeta, but whatever. Let's get these guys developed instead. Let's play the long game. We're trying to get footage of UI. Instead of having Maj and Vegeta just solve the entire match every single time we queue up. A blue card card. Alright, now we'll go to UI to leverage the gauge, buy some time. This is what it was like. You guys weren't playing when uh you dead? Oh, actually, didn't switch. If you guys weren't playing back when Ultra UI dropped, this is essentially how every match went. <laughs> okay. TV? Oh. Sure. Strike? Okay. That's an interesting play. That was tor terrible. Jesus, I was going to say terrible and horrible at the same time. We should be okay. He didn't even use the ult. That was a complete waste of that main. Alright, let me go back to UI. At some point, I do want to try and get the... It's just very hard to get the LFs here. Um... I'll just rush here. That's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go to Vegeta. Please, please switch to Vegeta. I'm actually begging you, please switch. Thanks. Oh, 
And it's not great here. Two blues. Kill him, please. Yeah, nice. He's dead. Now we should go to Majin Vegeta. Want to make sure we get our gauge before we use the green for type neutral. Because these are just the go tanks here. Yep. Alright, let's see if we can set this up. This LF here. Don't you dare forfeit. Don't you dare do it. Don't do it. Don't you. Don't you dare. Okay, I, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, this will be the final match. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I did expect... I was going to go to you for cover all. I do expect uh, UI Goku, or I did expect UI Goku to at least have some value still just because of the, the gauge being still like a factor, right? Dodging gauges will never age out. Ten years from now, if this if this guy for some reason doesn't have a Zenkai, he'll still be useful because <laughs> of the dodging gauge. Unless they unless okay, we'll do one more. <laughs> we want to why people do this. Uh, like unless they come out with something that cancels unique gauges, like this will literally never age out. Okay, no matter what, this is going to be the final match here. Let's see this goes. A little laggy, but not horrible. Let me get this off, damn it. I wanted to get the cover and all. Hmm. What? I'm not even going to drop. I don't really care. That's not bad damage. Now I'll drop. Okay, grab that. He drops the combo there, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Back dash twice. Uh, main ability. I'll do this all day. Okay. Let me just grab this. We already got the LF with UI in the last match, so we don't need to get it again. So if we can secure a kill with him, that's what we're going to do. Ain't okay. This guy really likes popping main abilities whenever they're available, I guess. I kind of was thinking about dropping there, but it wouldn't really even matter because... I drop, I hit him, and he just fills his gauge up, right? <laughs> what is this guy doing, dude? Okay. I've gotten guessed like every match in this video. Let's see if we get guessed again. Okay, we did not. Um... I could pop main here, but the problem is I don't have my dodging gauge up. I'll do it anyway. This is going to be the final priority we can get with UI, so we'll just do it for the end of the video here. You guys can let me know what you think of UI. We're not going to be able to kill because he can't sub buffs. 
Um, again, I think the gauge is just enough to let this guy age out very well. He's just... He's just leaving? He, he just rage quit? So we, we actually saw two rage quits. We saw two rage quits in this video. Versus... Red UI from two and a half years ago. That is crazy. <laughs> Alright, well... Uh, you guys can... Let me know what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.